I did a video a couple of weeks ago debunking some myths surrounding collagen, and today I wanted to do a video focusing on the best natural sources of collagen. Because yes, collagen supplements can be a nice addition to your routine, but there are natural ways to boost your intake as well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos here on YouTube twice a week talking all things insulin resistance, sleep, weight loss, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Collagen is a protein that is found throughout the human body. It makes up our connective tissues, including our skin, muscles, hair, nails, and joints. After the age of 25, our bodies start producing less and less collagen every year. And this lack of collagen is what leads to wrinkles, thinning hair, and joint pain as we age. The good news is there are foods you can add into your diet to help to boost collagen production. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And make sure to stick around until the end because I'm going to be giving you a bonus tip on how you can increase your collagen that isn't diet or supplement related. Number one, bone broth. Now, if you've done any research into collagen, I'm sure you're aware that bone broth is an excellent source. Collagen makes up 30% of our bones, so it's not really surprising that bone broth is rich in it. Bone broth is made by simmering bones in liquid for long periods of time, which helps the collagen to release. Now, I've seen some lists out there about collagen boosting foods, and a lot of these lists they contain foods that can help your body to synthesize collagen, but they don't actually contain it. The foods or drinks in this example that we're gonna be talking about today actually contain bioavailable collagen. So you can make bone broth with any type of bones really, beef, lamb, chicken, fish. Making bone broth at home, it's actually really easy. You just need to grab the bones, put them in some water, add a splash of apple cider vinegar, and let it simmer for usually about 24 hours. You can do it in a slow cooker or you can speed up the process by doing it in a pressure cooker. When it's done, you strain out the bones and there you go. <laughs> if you're not keen on making it at home, there are some good pre-made brands that are available. So I'm gonna link some of my favorites in the description box down below. And I guess I should also mention how to consume bone broth because I get that question a lot. So you can literally just drink it as is heat it up, pour it in a mug, drink it, <laughs> or you can use it when you're cooking. I love to get a tougher cut of meat, so beef cheeks are a good example. I will put those in my slow cooker with a little bit of bone broth and just leave it on for four, six, seven hours. <laughs> those were very random numbers. I literally put it on in the morning on just a low temperature and leave it all day. By the end of the day, what you're left with is delicious meat. And yeah, that's one of my favorite ways to use it. Super easy. <laughs> and if you guys already use bone broth in your cooking, leave your favorite recipe down below. I'm always looking for new recipes and new ideas. Number two, salmon skin. The skin of salmon, or any fish actually, is also a really good source of collagen. Salmon skin is made up of one third collagen. And on top of that, the skin of salmon is actually the most concentrated source of omega-3s out of the fish. And these omega-3s are in the form of DHA and EPA, which can benefit your skin as well. EPA specifically because it helps to block the release of substances that eat away at collagen. So when you're buying salmon or any other fish for that matter, make sure to buy it with the skin on. Not only will your skin and your hair thank you, but crispy salmon skin is also super delicious. Number three, eggshells. This one people are sometimes shocked by. And it isn't actually the eggshell itself that is rich in collagen, but rather the membrane that lines the inside. And you may be starting to see a trend here. The parts of the body that collagen benefits are the parts of the animal we get it from. If we want to improve the health of our skin, hair, nails, joints, then we want to be eating the corresponding parts of the animal. So we spoke about bone broth, we spoke about salmon skin, and in this case, we're consuming the connective tissue of the egg. 
Now I'm sure you're probably thinking, how on earth do you eat eggshells? <laughs> It's actually pretty easy to just grind them up in a blender or a food processor, make them into a really fine powder, and then you can just put a sprinkle on your food. Eggshells are also one of the best sources of calcium as well. If you're not too keen on making eggshell powder or consuming eggshell powder, then you can even just throw it into your bone broth when you're making it. This is gonna make your bone broth even richer in collagen and also give you that boost in calcium as well. Number four, pork rinds. Pork rinds are made out of pork skin. So once again, it makes sense that they're rich in collagen. You can make pork rinds yourself. I like to slice up pork skin and put it in my air fryer. You can also get pork skin if you buy a pork roast with the skin still on. Another option is to buy pork rinds pre-made, but please, please, please make sure that you buy from a brand that doesn't fry them in vegetable oil. If you do, this is gonna be counterproductive because vegetable oil actually causes DNA damage and can reduce your collagen. I'm gonna put some of my favorite brands in the description box down below. And number five, shellfish. So shellfish, including oysters, crab, and shrimp, are also a really great source of collagen. And if you're a seafood lover, like I am, this is really great news. And those are my top five natural sources of collagen. Now, I know I promised you guys a bonus tip, and this tip is not diet related at all. It is actually a type of light that has been clinically proven to boost collagen production, reduce wrinkles, speed up muscle recovery, and promote joint health. We get this specific type of light through red light therapy devices. I actually have mine sitting right there behind me. <laughs> this type of light stimulates the mitochondria in our cells, allowing them to produce more energy and boosting collagen production. I know it sounds a bit woo woo, but red light therapy is actually backed by thousands of clinical trials. When you see some of these before and after results of people with wrinkles, for example, and how much they reduce, it's pretty mind blowing. I've been using red light therapy for years. I try to do it every single morning. All it takes is exposing your bare skin to the light for five to 20 minutes every day. And I will say that you can't just use any red light bulb. It has to be very specific wavelengths that are found in these red light therapy devices. I did a full video on red light therapy a few weeks back, so I'm gonna link that up above if you wanna check it out. And in the description box down below, I'm also gonna link my favorite devices from Bond Charge. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment section down below how many of these foods you already consume on a regular basis. Are you gonna add any of them into your diet if you don't already eat them? Let me know down below. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on red light therapy, which I just mentioned. You can check it out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass and meal plan, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.